Hi, welcome to the Crown Hills Food Kitchen. Um, today we are going to be making fish goujons and spicy potato wedges. First of all, I need to clean my work area with the disinfected spray. Make sure that is nice and clean, get all the germs and bacteria off. Okay, then we are going to start off with our potato. We need a large potato. Um, we're going to be cutting that on a green chopping board with one of our green knives. Remember please your bridge and claw method. You're going to cut along the long edge of the potato to give yourself some nice large wedges and cut that using your bridge method um, into half. Turn your halves onto the flat side so your potato isn't rolling around, then you have a greater control of what you're actually doing with the knife, reducing the risk of you cutting yourselves. I'm going to cut these again into half, so we now have quarters, and then from there we can actually cut those into wedges. Remember your bridge and claw method all the time please, I'm using my claw now, and then my bridge actually do that. So you can see we've got some quite large wedges. If you want to make them smaller, please do so. The method I'm going to show you on how to cook these um, means that they're actually going to cook a little bit quicker than just putting them straight into the oven. Okay. From here, we're going to put these wedges into a glass bowl. Please do not put them into a metal bowl. Glass or plastic would be best. So we're going to put all of our wedges in there. We do need a little bit of water in there, just a tablespoon of water. And then what we're going to do is put cling film over the top, if I can find the end. Sorry about this, there we go. We're just going to cling film the top of the bowl and then pierce a hole in the top just to let out the steam. We're going to now put this into the microwave for about four minutes and what that will do, it will start cooking the potato so that when we put it in the oven, it halves the amount of time you're going to need for it to cook, okay? So we're going to go over to the microwave, we're going to open, pop those inside, close the door, make sure that it is on a high setting and then turn that to your four minutes, okay? We're going back over to the work area here then. I'm just going to put this away. And here I have two fillets of fish that I took off um, earlier and a demonstration that you may have seen previously. What we're going to do with those, we're going to cut those up into almost like fish fingers. That's what fish goujons are, it's posh fish fingers. Okay, um, I'm going to keep, keep them fairly large so that we've got a nice amount of fish. Again, remember please your um, bridge and claw method. And remember we're using fish, so we're using a blue chopping board with a blue fish knife. Okay, so I'm going to cut those sort of into pieces like that, okay, there. keep the pieces similar sizes so that they cook evenly in the oven please, and what we're going to do, we are going to coat these pieces of fish, I'm going to put those two together I think, we're going to coat these pieces of fish um, in breadcrumbs, okay? This is called enrobing, okay? So let me just wipe my hands. And um, at this stage you will need a tray. I've got a tray here with some parchment paper. I've folded the parchment paper over so you've got a division between where the fish and the potatoes will be. Just put that on one side for a moment. Here I have some flour, we have some breadcrumbs, 
and in my little bowl here I have an egg. Okay, we're going to crack the egg. For that I've got a butter knife and I do need my waste management bowl. Okay, so I'm going to use the back of the butter knife, crack the egg into the bowl. My rubbish in there. And with a fork, just lightly beat the egg so that you're mixing the egg white and the egg yolk together. Okay, now the order we're going to um, use to actually enrobe the fish, we're going to dip the fish into the flour, into the egg, into the breadcrumbs, and then they will be put onto the baking tray. Just get rid of those. Okay, so with my bit of fish, we're going to dip it in the flour, like so, shake the excess off, dip it into the egg, shake the excess off, and then into the breadcrumbs. Okay, it can get a little bit messy, and then shake the excess off, and just lay that on your tray. Okay, we're going to do that with all the pieces of fish, into the breadcrumbs. In the meantime, your potatoes are nicely cooking in the microwave. Potatoes are done. Okay, I've nearly finished this fish now. Now what we're going to be doing with the potatoes when they come out, we're going to take the foil, the cling film off, we're going to get rid of the excess water, add some seasoning, pop them onto the tray with the fish, and they will go into my preheated oven um, for about 15, maybe 20 minutes. Probably 15 would be more um, the timing because the fish does not take that long to cook. going to give my hands a rinse so I'm not contaminating any other work surface areas. And then I'm going to take out maybe some open gloves because it might be hot. My oven door. I'm back here. Okay. I'm going to remove the cling film. We do need to have um, a spoon or something to hand to remove the potato wedges. To just take them out, lay them on my baking tray. Okay. Oops, one got away. 
then we're going to add a little bit of um, oil and oil and some seasoning. So I've got in here some harissa um, seasoning. You could use barbecue seasoning, Cajun seasoning. You could use any spices on there that you wish. Okay, and I've got a little bit of salt as well, which will help to enhance that flavor. Okay, so first of all, what I'm going to do, I'm going to pour on a little bit of my oil, and then I'm going to use a pastry brush to just distribute the oil evenly over the potatoes. That will really help to crispen up the potatoes. So a little drizzle of oil over the top of those to start me off. And then with my pastry brush, just brush those over. Okay, that will also help the um, spices and seasoning to stick to the potato as well as making them nice and crispy. All right. And then I'm going to put on my bit of salt. So I'm just going to sprinkle that over the top. Again, that will help to crisp up the potatoes and bring out the, um, enhance the flavors that are in there. And then again with my seasoning, just sprinkle that over the top. Don't over season it though, because sometimes it can become quite overpowering. Okay. And then, all we need to do then is remember your oven is on, it is hot. Wear your oven gloves please so you're not burning yourself. And please when you open the oven door, make sure that you stand back a little bit because sometimes the heat can really hit your face. It can almost feel like it's burning your eyes. So stand back and clear. Pick up your tray safely. And always use the top shelf because that is the hottest part of the oven. Um, and it needs to be um, in the centre of the oven so that the air can flow around to make it uh, an, even, uh, an even cooking. Okay, pop that in the oven, close the door and that should take about 15 minutes and your potatoes and your fish will both be cooked.